we're going to shift gears back to the Mon uh, back to Montana. When you're forced to deal with below freezing temperatures for over a month, it is hard to look on the bright side. No kidding. And although it is tough on agriculture, the snow and cold does have its benefits. Montana Ag Network's Jason Laird gives us a few of those perks from this past winter. Although not quite as impressive as last season, this year's snow couldn't have come at a better time. That snowpack was actually quite beneficial. And despite the obvious, snow does more than just provide moisture. Well, essentially it insulates the, the plants from the cold. Um, it also insulates the plants from the winds we get here in this part of Montana. A good example of this can be found at the Western Triangle Egg Research Center near Conrad. Last year's winter pea plots where we didn't have snow cover when it turned real cold, some of them didn't do as well as the ones that were covered with snow when we got real cold. Along with that, snow and cold can also cause a delay in plant growth. The plant needs to grow and produce flowers. Which in turn affects insect populations. Now according to entomologist Dr. Reddy with the Montana State University Ag Extension Office, if a plant grows more slowly and doesn't produce flowers, some insect populations can decline because of the inability for them to feed and lay eggs. Another aspect to take into consideration is the temperature. The wheat midge, for example, the, the, the diapausing larvae goes into the soil. Uh, so if it is extreme temperatures, that can kill those populations, but may not be a soft fly because soft fly diapausing larvae is inside the wheat stubble. It's well protected and also it produces certain chemicals to protect from around the body. And although the harsh elements may have some impact on insects this season, the greatest benefit from this past winter was the timely snowfall. In Gray Falls, I'm Jason Laird, MTN News. Now, according to the latest USDA Crop Progress Report, winter wheat is currently rated as 70% good to excellent compared to last year's 58%. So there you go. There is a bright side. Yeah. Yep. Always a bright side. <laughs>